I am 36 years old and a mother of six children. I am from South Sudan, Upper Nile State, Nasri. I am a survivor of sexual violence in July 2016. Those who sexually assaulted me were soldiers wearing a mix of military uniforms. Some were in camouflage uniform belonging to South Sudan wildlife. Some were in green SPLA uniforms. They were carrying guns. The incident happened during the July 2016 crisis in Juba. We ran for our life and sought refuge in the UNIMIS protection of civilian site. We had no food and nothing to survive on. So a group of eight women, including myself, decided to get outside the POC to collect firewood. While collecting firewood in the bush, a group of seven SPLA soldiers attacked us and raped us. They loaded their guns and threatened to kill us. Some of us tried to run but did not succeed. We all had to sit down. The soldiers talked to us in Arabic and kept us at gunpoint. The seven soldiers started taking one woman each to a bush and repeatedly raped us. The only woman that was not raped was one old woman among the eight of us. We tried to see their faces to recognize them, but they covered their faces with clothes. They were so aggressive and they said they wanted to kill us. Because of the rape, the two women and myself became pregnant. As a result of the sexual assault, some of the victims developed gynecological complications and could not bear children. Some of these women still have problems of swollen stomach. The three of us with children born of rape have difficulties raising them with no fathers. We have nothing to feed and raise them with. We cannot afford to buy milk or any necessities. I would have wanted to join my children in a refugee camp in Ethiopia. But after my husband heard about the rape, he rejected me and he has blocked any communication with my children. I am a mother of three boys, two girls, plus this child born of rape. My children are informed of what happened to me and they have been told your father rejected your mother. They are in constant fear of family disintegration. I am not allowed to call and to speak to them. I call for accountability of the perpetrators. These people need to be accountable for what they did to us, including their superiors and commanders. I know they are government soldiers. Us, the victims, need support. We are nobody now. We don't have education. We have been rejected since most of us are no longer welcomed by our husbands. No means of survival. No means for livelihood. I aspire to work and earn some income. My husband blames me for what happened, and I constantly feel shame. I am going to get old with access to only this child born out of rape. My life is just meaningless. My message to the Security Council is that people in South Sudan have been in crisis for more than five years now. Didn't you hear of all these issues that are happening to us, especially the women of South Sudan? I am here informing you that there are a lot of victims of sexual violence. Not only me, but a lot of women can testify. My appeal to the UN Security Council is this. We need immediate support for the victims of sexual violence. Support to hold the perpetrators accountable. Also put a tangible pressure so that the crisis is settled in a peaceful way. A lot of people are suffering and some have mental problems. If I am still alive, I would like to testify in front of a court, be it in South Sudan or outside South Sudan. We are getting tired and exhausted because we speak about what happened to us, but there is no immediate help. People are talking about peace coming to South Sudan. In case the peace process collapses, sexual violence against women will happen again. Lack of peace will mean that all of us will die. We ask the Security Council to help us the women. 
Look at this ration card. What I receive is not enough for me and my daughter to survive for a whole month. Some humanitarian agencies visited my tent and saw how I live. I live on the grace of neighbors who give food for me and my daughter. If I had not been raped, I would still have my dignity and continue to unite with my children.